From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Black Eyed Kids by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample of this terrifying audiobook at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A free navigation app from Carta GPS now features the option of getting your directions from celebrity voices, including former President Bill Clinton. Uh, turn right up ahead, there's a great no-tell motel you should check out. Ariana Grande announced that she's going to return to Manchester to perform a benefit concert for all the bombing victims. While she's there, she plans to lick all the croissants and say she hates the British. The Trump Soho Hotel in New York City is planning to make staff layoffs. Okay, everybody now sing! Soho, Soho, it's out of work you go! I, I can't whistle. In Utah, 39-year-old Tori Lee Castillo is facing child abuse charges in what witnesses are describing as an appalling incident. She allegedly locked her two children, ages two and five, in the trunk of her car while she left to go shopping at a local Walmart. The Riverdale City Police Department got a call after a witness reported seeing Castillo put her kids in the trunk. Utah police said the small children began making noise and moving frantically, causing the vehicle to shake. Fortunately, several Good Samaritans saw it happen and ran to the aid of the kids. Police say those Good Samaritans coached the five-year-old on how to open the trunk using an emergency latch. One witness said, I was shocked, I was shaken, and I was mad. Castillo was arrested as soon as she returned to her car. Personally, I don't think justice was served unless the police stuck her in the trunk of the patrol car to take her to jail. Police in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada are trying to find the thieves who made off with two semi-trailers full of more than $160,000 worth of beer. The trucks have been recovered, but the beer is still missing. I say get the bloodhounds sniffing for a suburban brewery. You might close this case. A Florida woman was arrested for assaulting her ex with an order of pork fried rice. Man, others throw rice at you when you get married, and now your ex throws rice at you after you're married? Is marriage secretly sponsored by Uncle Ben's? A couple of neighbors in Manchester who can't get along felt it was important to waste the time of local police. But this was no ordinary neighbor's dispute. No, the scenario was shared by officers who tweeted, Today we've dealt with a neighbor dispute where a dead goldfish covered in cheese has been posted through a letterbox. I kid you not. <laughs> wow, just when you thought there were no original crimes left to commit. Ice cream giant Ben & Jerry's has come up with an interesting protest supporting gay rights and marriage equality in Australia. Saying, love comes in all flavors, the company's 26 stores in Australia have banned serving of two scoops of the same kind of ice cream until same-sex marriage is legalized in the country. In a statement, Ben & Jerry's asks customers to imagine how furious being denied a double scoop of their favorite flavor would make them. But this doesn't even begin to compare to how furious you would be if you were told you were not allowed to marry the person you love, it said. All right, hey guys, um, you do realize that people can just go to another ice cream store to get the two scoops of their favorite ice cream, right? Instead of ending a ban on same-sex marriage, all you're doing is creating a ban on Ben & Jerry's. Disney says that threat of cyber thieves stealing a copy of the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie and holding it for ransom was apparently a hoax. Although, after reading some of the movie reviews, they might have been better off if it had been stolen and never released. Two South Carolina men were charged with harassing an alligator after forcing the creature to drink beer. The men were on a dirt road near Hardyville when they saw the young alligator crossing the road. The duo picked it up and poured beer down its throat before releasing it. It later swam away in a nearby pond. The two men uploaded photos of their antics to social media, which is how officers from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources got wind of their crime. You know what? Hey, maybe we should bring back those Obama smartphones for everybody so all criminals have an equal opportunity to incriminate themselves. Brace yourselves for this story. Adam Sandler's latest movie, The Meyerowitz Stories, is actually getting some Oscar buzz. Never thought you'd see Adam Sandler in the word Oscar in the same sentence, did you? 
In Massachusetts, Orlando Melendez got some bad news. A judge has denied his request to juggle during his trial to show jurors he was just clowning around when he allegedly tried to rob a convenience store. That's right, juggle. Melendez has pleaded not guilty to charges that he used a toy gun to try to rob a convenience store in December. The 20-year-old man who is representing himself asked that he be allowed to juggle three wads of paper for 20 seconds to show jurors that the alleged attempted robbery was a misunderstanding because he's a professional clown. Okay, now, honestly, you know, with the news of the past couple of years, telling people you are a clown, that is in no way going to help your case with the jury. Now that the FBI investigation has begun to focus on Jared Kushner, he has been told to lay low. White House lawyers have hidden him in a secure, undisclosed location right next to Kellyanne Conway. The Marlar House mobile app is now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more, all in one app. And it's free for iOS and Android users. Download it now at MarlarHouse.com slash mobile, or click on the mobile tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!